play any of the Mario games. I just like I love collecting coins, even when I have like a hundred lives. But definitely have them during Super Mario 3D World. Because there's just so many coins and pretty hard to lose, I think. Pretty hard to die. I mean. Some sky sanctuaries down there. But yeah, I just love collecting coins. It makes you feel happy. The rings and Sonic sort of didn't give me the same feeling because you knew that. Okay. By the way, I'm not a dinosaur bird. I think the game needs some of that. It's like a four-eyed dinosaur dude. Yeah, as I was saying, with the Sonic games and rings, it sort of didn't have the same feeling because you always knew that you were always one attack or two times of that shield by just losing all your rings, and you know, that sort of made me feel sad. Uh, so points like, oh boy, I have all this money forever. You know, really, you got converted into lives, and you could lose lives for sure. Especially on the last stage of Super Mario Video World. Sweating. You know, she doesn't sweat when she's running, that's weird. She really would not find her best around. She'd be running faster because, you know, she was pushing something and she was sweating, and now she's not sweating. Bam. She destroys Carol because Genji is not loose. Spade? What's he doing here? Hey! What do you think you're doing? That's the Kingdom Stone! So? I needed to find my father's killer. Not like a couple traitors like yourselves would care. I'd rather be called a traitor than a murderer. In case you didn't know, this, this guy is indeed the son of the king that was killed in the intro of this game. Scar's left us no choice. And you've left me no choice. <laughs> Still training, I see. You want to fight? Come and get it. I'd love to stay and dance, but Mayor Zhao's got a tight schedule. Besides, if something else is guarding this thing, I'd hate to be around when it wakes up. You're insane, you know that? You're never gonna get away with it! <laughs> we'll see about that. Ew! He'll never make it out. But we should! Come on! Yep, yeah, do not adjust your sets, folks. He really is just a character who has a backstory that we have not heard of yet. I'm not actually a huge fan of one game here. It will get filled in, eventually. Carol story actually. Oh well. This guy's actually pretty easy if you just when you deal enough damage to his head, he just stops everything he's doing. It's really easy as Carol because you can use her special bar and it gets the same bonus as you can. Attack with a higher priority than enemy. So, well, this attack is worth more. He is really good at aiming. Yeah, you know, first attack is the same thing, gives you higher priority, so you just wail on the boss, and uh, pretty much your bar is always going to be full, and you're going to one shot him uh, every time that he comes back down after regenerating. Oops. Yeah, it's a lot like a certain part of the game. But at least plus an eye. There is some help for you. Keep traveling to the right. You see that he led his shot. That was a good AI. Unfortunately, it's also pretty... pretty dickish. Yeah, it's not a pretty easy to play with over here. People in the face is how many bosses die. That's how it's done. I like this 
think I'm one of the world's best face kickers, but I'm not. Scratch, I'm fine. Just take a moment to notice that she has the colon three face. Just look at that. It's the perfect three. Well, we better find Torque and get home so I can patch it up. Well, this stinks. How are we gonna get more money? We'll think of something. What I really want to know is why Spade is working for Mayor Zhao. Mm, but loads of cash? <laughs> well, Zhao might know something about the assassination. But that still doesn't explain what he needs the stone for. I have a bad feeling about all this. What? Someone's following us. What do you mean? Yeah! <gasps> Wait. Someone with a shield pulled me out of the cave. It must have been her. <laughs> sorry about bouncing on ya. Hello? I'm sorry? Don't be scared. I promise we'll keep you safe. Are you a dragon? Yeah. Can... Can I touch your hair? <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. Never mind. No, no. It's okay. I was just surprised is all. Go ahead. I won't hurt you. Just love this voice acting. <laughs> it's like a rope. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can be friends. Sure. I'm Mila. What's your name? Lilac. That's a pretty name. <laughs> thanks. This is my friend Carol. Hi. So, thanks for saving me back there. Well, what are you doing all the way out here? I was playing over here, and then those people came. They're not very nice. I'll say. You know what? You can come to our secret hideout. What? what? Really? Yeah. Nobody knows where it is except us. That sounds like fun! The Kingdom Stone has been taken! Your Excellency! By who? Mayor Zhao! His pilgrimage to the temple was a cover-up! This is troubling. Zhao may be a buffoon, but I never believed he was capable of this. A pair of youngsters warned us about the attack! I refuse to listen. I have failed you, Magister. Don't be hard on yourself, General. I would have been just as skeptical. Tell me, who was it that issued this warning? Something doesn't smell right. Well, sorry! You never smell right. I'm referring to those kids. They know something about this. We have to find them. <laughs> you sure you don't want to hang out with us? Thanks, but I have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna try and fix my gadgets. Fair enough. Just shout if you need anything. Alright. What are you gonna be up to? Oh, we should have plenty of things to do. Especially with a new girl around. <laughs> I'm bored. How about a movie? Sure! Mm, why not? What kind of movies do you like, Mila? I like being surprised! Alright, I think I have just the thing. Mm. Hey, Lala! Hmm? How come Torque doesn't want to hang out with us? He said he had some work to do. Eh, he's probably just scared of getting cooties. Cooties! <laughs> Not like a couple traitors like yourselves would care. Lilac! Lilac! Yes. Torque's up! I mean, I went down there and, and he's a, mm, I mean... Calm he's... down, what is it? Torque turned into an alien or something! What? Just come with me, come on! I probably had a bad dream. I'm serious! Get up! Come on! Get up, get up! All right! Let me get my shoes on! Torque? No! <laughs> it's not what it looks like! What are you? Give us answers, buddy! Okay, okay! I'll tell you! But you have to promise to keep it to yourselves! We promise! Right, Carol? Mmm, right. Pinky swear. <sighs> Alright. Take a seat. I'm from another world. Actually, I'm part of an alliance between many different worlds. We're called Chasers. So you're an alien then? Pretty much, yeah. Space cooties! <laughs> you don't believe me. Actually, I do. 
Really? They say that a long time ago, dragons came to Avalis and mixed with our ancestors. And not just ones like Lilac, huge ones like in the movies! So I guess it's not much of a stretch for other things to be out there too. I see. So, why do a bunch of aliens care about our planet? The man that wants your kingdom stone isn't from around here either. He calls himself Lord Brevin. Lord? Well, he didn't get that name selling cookies. He's dangerous with a capital D. Brevin is the most powerful enemy we've ever faced. Hundreds of worlds destroyed. Thousands of heroes killed or corrupted. Enormous amounts of weapon energy stolen! And that's just the tip of the iceberg. According to our scans, the Kingdom Stone has enough energy to double the size of his army. If he gets it, he'll be unstoppable. I'll try and convince your leaders of his existence, but if I can't get them to help me, if Brevin gets his hands on the Kingdom Stone, then I'll have no choice. I'll have to destroy it. Destroy, destroy it? it? You can't be serious! I'll only destroy it if I have no other choice. I swore to my captain on his dying breath that I would not let Brevin get that stone. I'm sorry about your captain, but you can't destroy it. In fact, you won't even have to think about it because I'm going to help you get it back. I don't care how dangerous it is. It's gonna take a lot more than robots and aliens to slow a dragon down. If she's gonna go for it, then I am too. If we can beat up a giant praying mantis thing together, then who knows what else we can do. I wanna come too! I guess we could let you save Carol's life a few more times. Hey! Yay! So the three of you are really gonna help me stop him? Say no more, Team Lilac's got your back. We'll talk about the name later, okay? I'd be lying if I said I was comfortable with this, but I honestly could use your help. You all know this world better than I do. So, it's official, right? <laughs> More or less. Welcome aboard, ladies. Yes! Awesome! Wonderful! Just remember something really important. Don't talk about our mission unless I say so. We do not want the whole world thinking we're crazy. Understood. Uh-oh. I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. Yeah, we better get some shut-eye. We've got a big day ahead of us. Lilac. Thank you. Good evening, sir. It may interest you to know that the location of the artifact has shifted. Where? It's moving toward a densely populated region to the east. This could work to our advantage. Get me the king's son. Where do your duties lie? It is my duty to protect my father's kingdom. You would sacrifice your very life for the good of this kingdom, wouldn't you? Yes. And you would crush all those who threaten its safety. We must protect it at all costs. Exactly. The one you call Zhao has taken something very precious. Something that could put your kingdom at risk. You're not going to let him keep it, are you? Revenge is upon us, my fellow kin. We have confirmed who is responsible for the death of our king. Zhao of Shanmu. His plans to steal our Kingdom Stone must be stopped! Deploy our Sky Battalion! Uh, hello? Hey, up and at him! We've got adventuring to do! Oh, five more minutes... I was wondering when you'd be awake. You can blame Carol for that. She sleeps for like half a day. <sighs> totally worth it. Well, anyway, I got a call from that big panda guy I told you about. He's gonna help us. When is he coming? Actually, we have to go meet him. He'll be waiting for us north of here. Perfect. I fixed my radar last night so we can use it to find the meeting point. Great! Ready, girls? Aye, aye. Captain Adventure! <laughs>